George is now at Martini's, the Italian restaurant and bar owned by his good friend that he helped move to Bailey Park years ago. There are Christmas greens and holly decorating the place, with Mr. Martini welcoming the many arrivals who are reveling in the Christmas spirit. Ah, oh, Merry Christmas! Hello! Glad you come! Thank you! How about some of that good spaghetti? We got everything! But George sits at the bar despondent, a fact not lost on Nick the bartender who is watching him. George has already had a great deal to drink, far more than he's accustomed to. Take you home, huh? Why you drink so much, my friend? Please go home, Mr. Bailey. This is Christmas Eve. A burly man who has been sitting at the bar reacts sharply to hearing the name Bailey. Bailey? Which Bailey? And this is Mr. George Bailey. Next time you talk to my wife like that, you'll get worse. She cried for an hour. It isn't enough she slaves teaching you stupid kids how to read and write, and you have to ball her out. You get out of here, Mr. Welch. Oh, no, right. wait. I want to pay for my drink. Never mind the money. You get out of here, quick. Come on. All right, all right. You hit my best friend. Get out. Nick and Martini shove Welch out the door, then move back to help George to his feet. George's mouth is cut and bleeding from Welch's punch. You all right, George? Who was that? He gone. No worry. His name is Welch. He no come into my place no more. What? That's what you get for praying. That's the last time he come in here. You hear that, Nick? You bet. You bet. Where's my insurance policy? Oh, here it is. Oh, no, please. No go this way, Mr. Bailey. I'm all right. No, no, you don't feel so good. Sit down and rest. I'm all right. Please, don't go away, please. 